Good morning. How are you? It's Tuesday. You know what that means. It's Torah Tuesday. Hey, that's good. We like that. It's another day. Actually, it's nice out here now. It's going to storm later, but that's okay. And this week is Parsha Devarim. So, let's make sure let's get right into it, okay? A few, a few months ago, remember back when we were actually flying airplanes? Yeah, you remember. A few months ago, before the COVID, the dreaded COVID, I was wandering around the Atlanta airport trying to find my gate. I entered one long hallway after another as I maneuvered my way around the different floors, buildings, and parking bays. As I aimlessly strolled, I started to understand this week's Parsha Devarim more and more. It takes the children of Israel almost 40 years to go from Mount Sinai to the edge of the Promised Land. Almost 40 years to go 11 days of distance. Yeah, you heard me. I had to test this. First, I went down one hallway and arrived at the baggage claim area, then the ticket counter, then the food courts, etc., etc., until I had taken six separate routes to get from the MARTA platform to the sea concourse. Each time I found another route, Parsha Devarim made more and more sense to me. Every time I found a new route, I reflected on where I had been and how I got there. Now Moses was only following God's instructions, but why take the long way around? Forty years in the biblical world equals one generation. The generation that lived through slavery escaped Egypt and received the Ten Commandments while well, they had to die off before the children of Israel could enter the Promised Land and this new generation knew nothing about slavery, the miracles in Egypt, or how they got the Ten Commandments. It was time that God, God through Moses, taught this new generation their history and why God was giving them the Promised Land. So, after almost 40 years of wandering, Moses explains to the children of Israel their history and what happened in Egypt and the desert for all that time. So, after all that traveling, all that wandering, all that learning, and all those miracles, now God was ready to bring the people to the Promised Land. So, what did I learn? Okay. One, I had no sense of direction. I knew that anyway. Just like the children of Israel, I had to take the long route so that I could learn and appreciate where I was going so I could figure out where to end up. Does that make sense? You see what's going on here? Okay. Um, to sum it up, the generation that left Egypt, were slaves. They had slave mentality. So, this was not good for making a new nation out of. Okay? So, um, God had to wait till that generation died off. They had children. Their children told stories and the grandparents told stories to the great kids. So, there was still knowledge of what was going on. So, that had generation had to go. So, the generation, the children of Israel that entered the promised land they know nothing. They know nothing of their previous history. Okay, they heard stories. They've seen stuff, but they don't know of anything. Okay, now you want to get picky. We're now up to about a half a million people. Children of Israel are about half a million people. You think about it. The beginning must have seen the end, or the end must have seen the middle, that's a lot of people wandering around, okay? Okay, 11 days worth, okay? Yes, modern scientists did it, okay? They marched from the pyramids of the Giza Plateau to the Promised Land, to the cliffs where, okay. Um, 11 whole days on foot, yes, not on bicycle, 
I'm not on those fancy ATVs on foot. Okay. So, are we supposed to take this literally? No. It is a metaphor. Again, and that's what it is. That the generations that knew had to go so that the new generations were ready to accept, okay, God as their God and go on into the promised land and, of course, prosper and be wonderful. Okay? Makes sense? I hope so. Until Tuesday, next Tuesday, next Torah Tuesday, I bid you farewell. I hope you have a good week, and if it's going to storm where you are, be careful. And that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. All right? Boker Tov. Have a good week. Later.